welcome. We are back, Rachel and Tom, to do another seasonal flavor taste test, this time wintry flavors, um, for the Vegan Experimentalist food blog. Up first, purchased at Target, this Partake brand, uh, chocolate peppermint cookies. I have seen this before. It's normally crispy cookies. Mm -hmm. I'm excited because these are ones that are soft baked. It's allergen free, so it is both vegan and gluten free. Okay. Um, and it says distributed by Partake Foods in Jersey City, New Jersey. Okay. All right. So these should be good. I'm excited. They're very, very small. <laughs> Okay. About the size of an eye. Cheers. Here we go. Flavor. Excellent, excellent chocolate peppermint flavor. However, for soft baked, it still has a lot of crispy. Um, and... Almost a dryness. Yeah, I'm going to say, I'm surprised that this is soft baked. Very, very hard cookie. I mean, not like hard, not like super hard, but harder than like a kind of like squishy, fresh baked, like chocolate chip cookie kind of deal. I don't know if that's because it's gluten free, which are always a little bit more flaky, but. You better like peppermint if you're going to like this. Oh, yeah. That's why I love it. Like, I would say flavor, 5 out of 5. Texture, 3 out of 5. For a combined, like, overall, 4 out of 5. I actually like hard cookies, so texture, I'm going to give a 4 out of 5. Flavor, I am a little less uh, peppermint of, of a peppermint lover than Rachel. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. I want a little more chocolate, a little less peppermint. Next up, I'm really excited about this because I saw it on the internet. It's not in any of the local Chicago stores that I can find. Mm, rare um, and so I had to order it from the company directly. It was Theo Chocolate Bar Nutcracker Brittle. Up next, we'll have another Theo Chocolate Bar winter themed. So um, let's see. It's got hazelnuts and brittle, sweet brittle, mm. and a 55% dark chocolate. Um, and it does say suitable for vegans on the packaging. Okay. All right. Thank you, Rachel. It's not as pronounced, the flavor, I thought it would be. I thought it would uh, be even a little more salty, I guess, from the brittle. I'm not sure what I was looking for, but I do love the flavor. See, I got a little salt. I was hoping for, what, what was this again? It was Nutcracker Bro. I was hoping for maybe, I don't know if this was this is what I should have expected, but I was hoping for more like kind of like toffee crunch in there a little bit. I didn't get very much of that. There's definitely some sort of crunchiness. Now, there is hazelnuts. I love that flavor. The brittle is cane sugar, so it does have a little crunch to it. I like that a lot. It's not as good as I thought it would be. But even said that, 4.5 out of 5. I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. Just like a you know somewhat above average chocolate bar to me. Okay, next up is the Theo Peppermint Crunch. Mm -hmm. This time it is in a 70% darker chocolate, dark chocolate, so we'd expect it to be richer. Yeah, and, well, I'm excited for the 70% mm -hmm. versus 55%. I'm a little bit less excited that this is another peppermint flavor. So this should be smooth. Um, there's, what's this peppermint crunch? Okay, so it does have a brittle, but the peppermint comes in 
as, as an essential oil. As essential oil. So this could blow us away, but I think I really like mint and chocolate as a combination. So, ooh, here we go. Let's see. Mm, the smell. See, having them back to back, like this is for dark chocolate lovers with that 70%. I think there's a huge difference between a 70% dark chocolate and a 55, which for vegan chocolates, that's on the low end. Um, so I much preferred the Nutcracker Brittle, even though I don't mind a mint flavor. I'm going to give this a two and a half out of five. Wow. I am the opposite. I'm going to give this a four out of five. And the reason for that is just I the the richness and kind of almost bitterness of the dark chocolate I really like, and it's not too pepperminty at all. In fact, I barely get any peppermint, which is the way I like it. It's almost masked by the bitterness of the dark yes, chocolate. Yes. That's, that's, what do you think of the good. crunch bit? Um, I can take or leave. I mean, basically, I just like dark chocolate, and this is just a dark dark chocolate bar. There's nothing. Special or bad about it, either good or bad. Up next um, is a Trader Joe's product. They are making an appearance just once on this list, unlike our pumpkin oh, 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 haul. So Trader Joe's winter wake up tea with a spicy black tea blend with cinnamon and ginger. And for the ingredients, it has black tea, cinnamon, orange peels, licorice, ginger, natural flavors and cloves so no peppermint no peppermint so i think it does say this could be good with some milk like you know mm. milk but we're drinking it you know with nothing in it no schnapps mm. folks okay here we go Right off the bat from the smell, there's a lot of cinnamon in this. Um, although less so in the taste, but when you okay. smell it, it's going to pop you with the cinnamon. I feel like you have to take the bag and dip it because my first sip tasted almost like nothing. And most tea bags, you don't have to do that, but I, I think for this one, you do. Still... I think, because I've had a lot of flavored teas. This, this is one not is very strong, no. Mild. Like, for it being called a winter wake-up tea. It's a very mild black tea with a hint of cinnamon. It's, yeah. It's, and I don't get so much of the other spice. So I get a little cinnamon. And, yeah, it's a very, what, what was this in a, what was the tea there? Was it Earl Grey? No, just black tea. Just They just say black tea? Okay. See, it keeps saying spicy ginger on it and that this is a spicy black tea. I mean, there, yeah, I'd have to really hunt for the ginger flavor. Yeah. A little bit on the, the finish, but I'm honest. Now, overall, I it's, 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 it's spicy going down a little bit, maybe. If you like kind of gulp it down, you get a little cinnamon burn there. <laughs> I don't hate it, but because it didn't live up to what I think it should be, this is another two and a half out of five. This, this is a three out of five, straight straight up average. Up next, I'm really excited about this. This is more themey than flavored. Mm -hmm. It is uh, Fancy Pants uh, Vegan Sugar Cookies, Blue Dreidels. I'm excited about this because I celebrate Hanukkah and you don't see a lot of stuff in the stores um and it, if you do it's not vegan so this is purchased at whole foods in their bakery section mm -hmm. so let me show Ooh, i mean it's cute and gimmicky now, do you want to teach the viewers how to play dreidel <laughs> all right here we go oh it's hard to snap this is a crunchy cookie Mm. It's that like 
fake cookie flavor. Like fake it's, vanilla. It's a, it's a sugar cookie for sure. Very sweet with that, mm -hmm. that vanilla taste, yeah. I wouldn't be able to tell it's vegan, so so you know that that sways you either way. Um, it's so crunchy that I don't like the sound it's making when I'm chewing it. Like I kind of want to make these stale so some humidity gets in, so they're less crunchy. Mm. I mean, for me, this is a basic sugar cookie. Maybe higher density of, uh, what do you call these, sugar cube crystals, crystals mm -hmm. sugar crystals on it than, than normal, which is good, actually. They add a little bit of something extra to it. What do you give it? I'd give it like a three and a half. I'd give it a three, but because it's kind of like a real special item and I'm excited about that, I'd give that a three and a half out of five. Give it the Hanukkah bump. <laughs> I'm a little bit worn out at this point in the taste test because it's a lot of sweet in a short amount of time. Everything sweet on sweet. Other Except seasons, tea, I guess. Yeah, I think in the pumpkin one we had a lot of savory mixed in, mm. so I'm getting a little sweet fatigue. But but with the next, this is a Good and Gather with which is a Target store brand, mm. limited edition, date and nut bar, hot cocoa flavor. It has just five ingredients. Dates, almonds, chocolate chips, cashews, and cocoa powder. All right. Not going to be bad. Okay. I like it. Okay. For them to call it hot cocoa, I think is a stretch. I think if you're going to do that, you have to have like a vegan marshmallow in there. There's not, there's nothing hot cocoa about this. Right. Well, there's nothing hot about it. So. <laughs> right. But hot cocoa I mean, there's, it, it, there's some chocolate. It, it, it's not just a date bar. There's clearly chocolate right. flavor in there. So if you want to call that cocoa, I think that's, I think that's acceptable for me. Maybe I actually needed more than five ingredients because I, I want a little cinnamon. I want a little spice to this. It, it came off a little flat to me. It came off as like a healthier seasonal snack. Mm -hmm. Sure. If you're, I mean, it's st it's still sweet though. Yeah. But if you're if you're sick of pure sugar cookies, you know this could be a break, I guess. Yeah. But it's a little, it's a little flat for me. I needed. I mean, th this could have used maybe some of some of the some of the ginger that was allegedly in this. So, <laughs> but then how could it be called hot cocoa if it has ginger? Oops, I mean, yeah, okay, maybe not ginger, but I've seen people put cinnamon in their hot cocoa. Really, it's not bad tasting. We would tell you if it's bad tasting, but it's too because I don't want it again. Like I'll eat the box, but I wouldn't. Well, don't eat the box. It's a it's a it's a two and a half for me. <laughs> Next up, um, it's lucky number seven by Siete Foods, grain-free cinnamon crisp mini buñuelos, <clears throat> and um, this is a seasonal holiday flavor, and it's cassava flour, oil, coconut sugar, agave, pumpkin powder. I'm actually very oh. surprised to see that. Oh, cinema, cinnamon, basically vanilla. Okay. All right. I don't know if I've ever had a buñuelo before, I, even in uh, Houston. Right. Uh, we haven't, so I don't know in terms of I'm the not real sure thing. what I expect. Hold on. Let me smell. Oh, okay. Let her smell. The first whiff from, like, here wasn't good, but then when I went in, it was good. Hmm. I think I was getting the nitrogen from I'm not the sure nitrogen. what I'm getting from that. I'm like some kind of spice. Yeah. So here we go. All smells like a Dorito bag in some ways. So. I got a little curved guy here. Okay. Oh, Rachel likes. Rachel <laughs> likes. It was sweet, then not sweet. 
if if it's cinnamon toast crunch but chips. That's what I that's what I think. There's something more complex than that. It's less sweet than that. And I mean, I think, you get oil because it's chips. Right. It has this good kind of coconut oil taste, or is this about avocado. avocado? Avocado oil. Where does it have coconut in it then? I don't think it. Coconut, um, sugar. coconut sugar. So I'm thinking when I said it was sweet than not sweet. Once your tongue sort of melted away the coating, you got that non-sweet sort of tortilla chip, cassava chip flavor. Yeah, cinnamon toast crunch, but with, with oil. You know what? I'm going to give that a four and a half, folks. Lucky number seven really coming through in the clutch. I like it. Now, because the flavor changes so quickly once your tongue melts away the coating, like, I would give it a five, but that's taking me down to a four and a half, but it's still... Well, you, you can't you can't let it linger. You just got to chomp on it. Right. <laughs> I think I would definitely repurchase these. Um, so, four and a half for me. All right. Our final test is another beverage, this time cold. <clears throat> Healthy kombucha brand, holiday cheer flavor. Yeah, she wouldn't go for peppermint snobs, unfortunately. So... Ingredients, kombucha, cold pressed ginger juice, holiday cheer spice blend, and no other, no other information. All so, right, mystery spice blend, let's do it. Yeah. It's just going to be very gingery, I think, which is a common kombucha flavor that I yeah, that really like, like. like ginger for sure. So now we're starting from a baseline. I think I'll like this because of the ginger. So how does the spice blend play Enhance into that? It. Enhance it or not? Let's see. All right. Sort of like a champagne color. Mm-hmm. Really good. I like that. I can't say I get anything other than ginger, but it's a little sweet as well at the end there. Yeah, there's something there. Oh, hang on. Okay, I could, t I could tell you what's in there. Um... Go ahead, indulge in a seasonal blend of vanilla, allspice, and sweet cacao. Oh, that's in the description, not the mm -hmm. ingredients. So vanilla, allspice, and cacao. Okay. Is all so I guess the vanilla is maybe responsible for the sweet finish mm -hmm. there. Allspice is in jerk, I think. Jerk okay. sauce. I'm getting, I'm getting that a little You're bit. You're getting a little like, jerk sauce in your kombucha. The fragrantness. <laughs> yeah, I think that's good. Um, I mean, it's very ginger, so make sure you know if you have a sensitive nose, it will feel as if your nose is on fire. So make sure. Is that what's happening to you? I, yeah, I get that sometimes if I drink like a a strong ginger beer as well. Always worse going to just you know. Do something gross. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know how to rank that relative to the foods. That definitely exceeded my expectations. Um, I mean, there's more to it than the tea, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Would you think that, would you drink that all year round or just? I mean, I don't drink kombucha that much, but if I did, yeah, I'll see, I'll see why not. It's not like, I mean, it's not like someone shoved a bunch of peppermint in there that made yeah. explicitly holiday season it, it kind of has a shadow of a holidayness, but it's not front and center which is fine because i think that makes it repeatable and um yeah i would give that a four and a half out of five i'd, I'd give it a four all right all right well that's it for our winter 2021 seasonal taste test we had a lot of high scores i think it was very good um, most of these things I would repurchase. 
Mm -hmm. um, and we'll definitely finish eating them. So I'm happy about that. Um, so thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. All right. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.